Hello everyone and welcome to this short video explaining uh, changes coming to membership dues in 2024. The coordinating body is a group of members and volunteers who are elected by members to make the big policy decisions at the co-op. One big policy decision is the system for members to contribute to the running of the co-op. By extension, the rate that members pay for their annual membership dues. So what's changing in 2024? The coordinating body have decided to remove the distinction between individual and household membership dues. They are introducing three new rates based on a household's ability to contribute. Alongside this will be a 12 month rolling membership term and recurring membership due payments via Stripe. Finally, they are introducing a new basic rate. But what does this all mean? Firstly, there will no longer be a distinction between membership dues paid by individuals and households. This will be simpler to administer on our system, it will be simpler for new members to understand and simpler for existing members to maintain. No longer will somebody have to decide whether they are joining as an individual or joining as a household. Whether there is one or four people in a household, they will all pay the same set of rates. The coordinating body has decided to introduce a new system of rates based on a member's ability to contribute to the co-op. There is a new standard rate which has been designed for those members that can contribute fully to the co-op in proportion to the benefits they receive. They have introduced a new solidarity rate, which is for those members that can afford to contribute more than average. And finally, they have extended the concession rate. The new rates are as follows. Standard rate will be 30 euros per annum. The solidarity rate will be 45 euros per annum and the concession rate will be 15 euros per annum. This is for all households, be there one or four people in the household. What does this mean in practice? Firstly, it represents a 15 euro reduction for the average co-op household. Those that can afford more can sign up to the solidarity rate. And this will enable us to extend the criteria for the concession rate. Next, the coordinating body has decided to introduce 12 month rolling terms. This is something that has been long sought by members and operational staff, and we have overcome the challenges to implementing it. In the past, when someone joined throughout the year, they would renew in January for a 12 month period and continue renewing in January going forward. This led to a number of perverse incentives to people joining throughout the year. People would often wait until the end of the year and so forth. Equally, if somebody didn't renew early in the year, it would introduce incentives for them to wait until the end of the year to renew. Now, when someone joins in the year, they will, they will pay for 12 months and they will renew 12 months from when they join. Equally, when somebody renews, even though they've lost the benefits for the period of time that they have not paid, they will get benefits for 12 months after the date on which they renew. This will encourage people to join at any time of the year or renew at any time of the year with no penalty. What if I renew before the 31st of December 2023? If you renew early, you will get 12 months from your last renewal date. So this means that anybody paid up to the end of this year will still be paid up to the end of next year if they renew early. So please consider renewing early. You won't lose out. We are expanding recurring membership dues to all online payments, and we are introducing them optionally at the tills in the coming weeks. Recurring payments will be collected via Stripe and will automatically renew every year without any 
efforts from a member. The member will be able to log into Stripe and cancel this renewing payment at any time without contacting the co-op. And of course, they can restart at any time in the future. Finally, the coordinating body has introduced a new basic membership due rate. In the past, if a member didn't renew, they would lose their benefits and be given one year's grace period. And after one year, their membership would be cancelled. This meant that when people dropped off paying their membership dues temporarily, or potentially for a year, they would leave the co-op community. Now, when a member doesn't renew, they will get reduced benefits, but they will remain a member. And they can restart full membership dues at any time in the future. They will get one cent for every euro spent, much reduced from the member on the, on the full rates. They will not get access to the special orders and other special member benefits, but they will retain their full democratic rights, including being able to attend member meetings and elections. So to repeat, the CB has decided to remove the individual and household distinction. It has introduced three new rates based on the household's ability to contribute. Alongside this, there is new 12-month rolling membership terms and recurring membership due payments. And finally, a new basic rate has been introduced. If you have any questions, please email info at dublinfood.coop and we'll be happy to answer them. And finally, please consider renewing early at dublinfood.coop slash renew.